Let us pray. Lord, we love you. We thank you for the time that you've given us to serve you, for the opportunity. We pray that you would make this time a blessing today. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to serve you. And just pray, Lord, that you would bless the rest of this conference. And thank you for speaking to our hearts. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. My name is Shane Bender. I've worked in Crown Christian Publications for 13 years. And through that time, uh, we've had a lot of experience of trying to produce materials uh, that help local churches, uh, pastors, uh, families. And what I'd like to try to do today is hit a few highlights, uh, and then Mitchell Killian will come. Uh, one of the things that we've developed over the years is a, a program that will allow you to maintain, create and maintain your own website, and uh, Mitchell will have a projector and uh, demonstration that uh, about how that works and what's available there, and then we'd like to leave some time at the end uh, for discussion and questions, uh, try to help you uh, any way that we can. We've, uh, probably the core thing that we've done over the years is uh, Sunday School Literature, uh, we currently have 30 series available that Pastor Sexton has written, and they're laid out in three different pieces uh, physically. Um, each series is 13 weeks long. Uh, we have a teacher's guide uh, with the lesson aims uh, for the teacher. We have a full-length book uh, that serves as reading material and uh, extra study information for the teacher, and then a study guide for the student. And uh, they come in a teacher's pack. One of the most helpful things, though, w that we've done uh, is the fourth component that is not physical. It is online. And teachers are just like everybody else. They learn in different ways. They study and they prepare in different ways. And most of all of our lessons are available in a lesson preview in either audio or video format online at Faith for the Family. And included in each teacher's pack is a letter that explains uh, where to go online on the Faith for the Family website. And so the teacher can actually watch the lesson being taught uh, by some of our Bible professors here at Crown College. And uh, we found that to be an extremely helpful resource. In addition to their study, they get to listen to somebody teach the lesson. And uh, we do that every Wednesday night. And as we go through a new series, that's recorded and posted to the uh, website there. And what we've done, uh, right now we have seven and a half years of material available. Um, and as we learned in college, uh, you know, a preacher should do most of his counseling uh, from the pulpit. Um, that it, the messages should contain what people need to hear. And uh, the same is true of these Sunday school lessons. Uh, Pastor Sexton has uh, given this presentation of this material line upon line, precept upon precept, and uh, we teach it here at Temple Baptist Church uh, starting at about the sixth grade and all the way through senior adults, and that allows parents with uh, teenagers to have that conversation about the Sunday school lesson uh, after church that day because the same lesson has been taught in both the adult and the teenage class and uh, helps, helps the family be on the same page. The study guide, uh, one thing that uh, we did prepare, the study guide has lesson questions for the next lesson. Uh, there's a series of questions to be answered, Bible reading for each day, uh, so the students can come prepared for the next lesson uh, and encourage them to be preparing for that uh, in a prayerful manner so that when they come to Sunday school on Sunday, they're not just there to sit and absorb, but they can actually participate uh, in the lesson and help others. Um, so that's the Sunday School lessons that we have. Uh, in your program, uh, there's an entire list of the 30. We have some that are topical, we have some that are New Testament studies, and we have some that are Old Testament studies. Um, so there is a complete list uh, available there. You can browse the bookstore. Uh, we do have a bookstore online that has the complete list as well. Um, one of the things that I did mention was things that we do for families, and we have several things 
Uh, probably one of the best received things that we have uh, is the family devotional guide. Pastor put these stories together years ago, uh, a collection of Bible stories. One of the great things that we've run into in this generation is a lack of Bible knowledge. Uh, po politicians from decades ago would make Bible references and everyone would understand what they meant. And if politicians are using the Bible to get their point across, uh, and you know that's something that everybody understood that. Um, today, that would not work because the population in general does not have that level of Bible knowledge. And what Pastor has done is he's assembled uh, in 12 different booklets, one for each month of the year, um, the great stories of the Bible to help families read through the Bible and increase that foundational level of knowledge. Uh, each day, uh, a story is listed at the top, the scripture reference, which you would read from the Bible, and then a series of questions, and then each week a memory verse is given, so that as a family, uh, you can work on a memory verse, uh, you can answer the questions, and there are 31 stories in each volume. Uh, these are available, of course, uh, in the bookstore, online, uh, you can call the office. One of the things that we did two years ago is we made this available in a digital format on the mobile version of Faith for the Family. And the questions are multiple choice. And on the iPad, um, my daughters love to read the scripture. Uh, I've got one reader right now uh, in school. And then they can go down and they can select the multiple choice by touching uh, the answer to the question. And then it'll check your answers for you. So that's been a blessing just to me personally, and the fact that we have a mobile version of Faith for the Family, and it's great to be able to pull out and uh, do your family devotions uh, in a digital format, and those questions are multiple choice. Um, new this last year was the hymn book, and we've begun uh, not only using the hymn book in many churches across the country, several uh, folks have also been interested in customizing them for our church, and I've got some information here. Uh, the music department at Crown College and uh, Pastor um, have worked very hard in selecting songs um, to get the best of the best and in this hymn book, and there are quite a few old songs uh, that are not common, and we've recorded uh, the first verse of those songs. They're available online. Um, and with the purchase of a hymn book, we'd be happy to give you a copy of the CD if, uh, if you would like that. Um, so that the you can hear the tune and uh, get, an, get an ear for what it's supposed to sound like. And probably one of the largest influences that uh, we've been able to have is through the publication of gospel tracts. And we've got several different graphical designs, um, and what we do is we customize these for churches with their church information and with a map on the back uh, for their church location, and we've printed at this time, last time I checked, over several million of these for other churches, uh, not just what we've used here at Temple Baptist Church, and that goes in conjunction with uh, the website, which Mitchell will come here in just a couple minutes and uh, tell us about uh, Crown Web. But one of the things we've found in the last several years that even as you knock on the door, and maybe it's a, uh, it seems to be a very good prospect, a lot of people are hesitant still to talk to someone they don't know at the door. But if they had any inkling of the fact that they liked you and liked what you said, liked your piece of literature, if your website is there, a lot of times, the first time a person will visit your church won't be the time that they physically walk in the door. They're going to visit your church online first to see what your church is all about. And so that web presentation uh, is very important uh, because it very well could be the first visit that that person makes. So when you do your gospel tracks, whether they're with us or with somebody else, make sure you have your website on there because the generation that's especially upcoming, uh, that digital information 
as their first avenue. Uh, it's non-confrontational. Um, nobody is following up on them. And a lot of times they'll take that no pressure approach. And uh, we've talked to many pastors that uh, have had uh, a great response uh, because they use the track in conjunction with their website. And at this time, I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mitchell. And he's going to present Crown Web. And then I'll come back and we'll field any questions that you have. And try to our best to answer those. Well, as Shane said, my name is Mitchell Killian, and I graduated from Crown College around 2004. Um, while I was here, I uh, took part in the Wharton Scholarship Program, and they placed me in um, pu the publication department. And then while I was there, we began um, developing the site manager's suite of tools, and um, it's gone, r gone through several iterations, several version upgrades. Started off at the very beginning, and uh, it was something very unique, something that no one had offered really before. And we uh, developed a, a set of tools that would allow churches to maintain this, their site themselves, that would allow them to um, not have to, to find a website designer to pay to create a look, to create a, uh, to create a site for them, and then um, be responsible for managing their site, but so they would be able to maintain it in-house. Uh, a lot, something that we that we've run into with a lot of people is that um, something that's true about website designers across the board is that they're never as timely getting your material up as you would like them to be, and they're also cost a whole lot more than you want to pay. I was talking to a gentleman over in the um, in the in the gym, and they said that the website designer that designed their site for them wants to charge him five hundred dollars an hour to update his site, and that's senseless. For one thing, it's too expensive anyway. And another thing, um, it, it is just a difficult thing whenever you want that your information updated on a regular basis, that's a whole lot of money to pay. Well, anyway, um, I graduated from here in 2004 and uh, um, went back to help my father's church in Northwest Georgia, and then I work remotely as a contractor here. Once a, once a year, they, were, they, uh, they lift the restraining order and let me come back. And uh, so, I, so that's why I'm here this week. Um, but anyway, as I said, we've, uh, we've gone through several, uh, several version upgrades. We're now on Site Manager version 3. And uh, we've added a lot of tools uh, through the years, a lot of different um, uh, 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 things that will allow you to really take advantage, harness the power of the web, and get your site online. I'm just going to show you a few of these things here and um, hopefully just kind of give you an idea of what we do. This is the main site, uh, crownweb.net. And uh, this is where you can find a lot more of information about the site, um, about Site Manager and what it's able to do. But I will go ahead and show you, um, this is an example site that I put together. Now there's not a great deal of information because of course it's just a sample site. But this gives you an idea of what we're able to do. All this, this site is, a, this site template that we've designed is a, um, is just one of about 40 or 50 site styles that we designed and then Quite a few of the designs have several different customizations you can make to them, so you can uh, change the color, change textures, uh, update things to make them appear what you want to, uh, what the way that you want them to be. Um, just kind of a few things I'll show. I'll just run through here to show you what what um, you'll be able to do with your site. This is, of course, the home page, and um, we have the upcoming events on the right hand side. You're able to update yourself to keep a calendar yourself. Um, it supports commenting, so you can you can allow um, people to interact with you on their site. As a, it allows a, uh, it gives you the um, ability to have a member's login area. So, for instance, if you wanted to have certain areas off limits to people that have not registered for your site, whether they're people that are church members that you want to restrict uh, information to church members only, or you just want to keep a record of certain people and uh, of people that come to your site, so you say. Um, may have your sermons behind that uh, require registration to log in. That's all supported here. I have a mailing, a mailing list can, that uh, folks can subscribe to. Um, something that a lot of people really like is that um, they can have their daily Bible reading on the site. So, um, actually, I have this the, the page set up a little incorrectly here, but um, this would allow you to uh, go through and find a certain passage of scripture, and people would be able to read it. 
right there on their site. What, Sh- what, uh, what Shane had mentioned about the devotional guide, those devotional guides are available to all Crown Web customers so that, um, that people that uh, go to your site can um, have that devotional guide on your site so that you can tell your pe- the people of your church um, if you'd like to have a um, Bible reading program for the family of your church, they can just go to your site, go to the devotional guide page, uh, uh, read the passage there, and then answer the questions there. If they can go through, answer all the questions, get them graded so they know how they did, and uh, it, that's all available to you. Um, we support media, um, and I will show you how this is added. We have two, uh, uh, I've uploaded two pieces so far here. See if I can get the uh, page to cooperate with me, and it may not do it because y'all are looking at me. Here we go. Um, that support both audio and video. For instance, here's a video that I just uploaded early today about um, uh, Pastor Sexton preaching. As it's loading here, and it's taking its time. And I will show you the interface here shortly, how that's all added. But with support both audio and video, it encodes everything so you don't have to worry about getting it in the right codec first or getting it in, in the right format first. We take care of all that for you in the background and uh, make it fairly fairly straightforward for you. You can uh, have a photo album to um, have different, uh, the different photos of different events of, at, your, at your church. down to a halt and um, so uh, as it has the uh, uh, make it available so that the people of your church could go through and look at the different pictures of different events that you have um, so that's kind of an idea of how the site works and um, the way that we design site manager is so that you pick one of the site styles and then you provide all the content yourself the um, site manager system the site manager system is uh, this is the back end area. This is where you would log into. You would go to, for instance, um, if your church's website address is calvarybaptistchurch.com, you would go to calvarybaptistchurch.com slash site admin. And um, you would log in with your username and password, and it, give, it gives you the uh, all the tools that you need to, uh, to manage your site in a very straightforward way. For instance, if you wanted to edit a page, say we wanted to edit the home page, Here's just the pages. We have our, our um, home page at the very bottom. And the way we've designed it is we've g- have created an interface that um, will come up here shortly that is very similar to Microsoft Word that will allow you to edit uh, the content without needing to know any special uh, coding skills, without needing to know any um, uh, HTML. All of it's taken care of for you, and we, and we, do, we do all the work for you, and the editor will come up here shortly. You'll be able to change colors, change fonts, change uh, insert photos, um, basically anything you want. So changes are easy to make, just like in a, in a, word, a, a word interface, and then uh, more uh, um, more technical things, for instance, adding a video is uh, fairly straightforward. I'll add an audio, um, uh, a, a song here, um, just to show you how the, how easy it is. But as long as you guys don't tell anybody, I'm going to upload a you know, piece for Majesty Music on the website, but I don't recommend doing that. So as long as Majesty doesn't know about it, we'll <laughs> don't tell anybody. Well, you don't tell anybody. I know you may do that. You, you work with them, but just don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> That'll be our secret. Um, as our internet has slowed down to a grinding halt, um, it will, it, that's right. Um, this is, uh, th- but this this would show you this this is uh, as it uploads it t- it'll take care. I uploaded it as a uh, MP3 file, and that's that's the default encoding. But um, a lot of times when you rip um, when you take a song from a CD to your computer, it may change it to a Windows audio file or some other format. That doesn't matter with this. It doesn't. This uh, sign manager takes care of all the 
changing over to the correct format so that people will be able to listen to most people will be able to listen to it. Just finalizing a few things here and then it will be added to the encoding queue. come back to this in a second here um, as you can see there it's encoding below now one thing that's really in that's really neat and unique about site manager is that if you decide that this site style for instance this site style design has the American flag up there at the top you may decide that um, well you know I don't want to have a, a patriotic theme right now I want to have an Easter theme Easter just came came re up recently so you want to change the site style I change we'll change it to some uh, to something else Uh, we designed this Easter style with uh, recently, and um, it allows eight different colors and eight different textures to be a part of it. And um, we'll customize it here. For instance, we'll pick blue and we will pick a wood background. Save changes. Get back over to our site. Refresh it. And the whole site, the whole look of the site has changed completely to the new theme. Um, We'll go over here to our media page and we will see that our um, song that we added will be available to us. And I didn't name it, so I wouldn't need to name it, but. But that's so, that's, you see, that's all taken care of for you. It's. Um, All right, so it's all taken care of for you, and uh, it's something that we've uh, that we put a lot of work in. We have some changes that are going to be um, made here shortly to the system that will allow um, a, a full a full featured shopping cart system that's going to be added here in the next few months. F a form generator can create your own contact forms. Um, quite a few other things that we have planned: uh, additional um, site styles to to can customize the look of the site, but. Anyway, I think that's a, it, it's not the right solution for, solution for everyone, but we have about th uh, over 300 churches that are using it right now, and they're all administering it, uh, administrating it themselves. And uh, so anyway, that's Site Manager, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. And now I'm going to go over here and delete that song off the Internet so I don't get in trouble with Majesty Music. Any questions? We have, um, the question was, do we have any me uh, publications or media for uh, children uh, 7 to 12? Um, we do have several things uh, in our bookstore here uh, as far as children's literature. Um, and then outside the family devotional guide, we have a Christian life journal. Uh, my daughter is eight. That's one of the things when she started attending, started attending church and learned to read uh, from her Bible and follow along, I bought her a Christian life journal, and uh, she takes notes now in church. Um, not like you and I would take notes, but she does take notes. She writes things down, and uh, 
it's it's been an encouragement to her, and she's really learned to you know pay attention more because of that. Um, as far as specific literature, we do have a, a storybook for children that Pastor's written um, that we've published here, a Bible storybook that uh, starts in Genesis, and uh, that is available. Um, it is more of a, a younger child's uh, storybook, not necessarily for the age group that you mentioned. Uh, but most of the focus has been on um, teenagers and the literature for uh, adults. Um, uh, the bookstore and the online bookstore, uh, we, we do carry a very large section of material, uh, fiction, nonfiction, Christian uh, writings uh, for children. The question was, uh, do we have any plans for future development of a children's curriculum? Um, the answer is yes, uh, nothing concrete at this time, uh, but we have uh, held several meetings about it and we do get questions every week. Uh, there's a great need for uh, children's literature that is sound and practical. Um, and we do see the need, a lot more goes into making children's literature than adult literature uh, because you have to have the visual aid uh, game suggestions and uh, things for the teachers. Um, but that has been discussed and uh, Lord willing, uh, at some point in time we will be able to provide those things. The question was if there are, are there any um, non ministerial um, or non ministry related sites on Site Manager? Yes, we have a couple. Now, um, the, the, the majority of them are because the design of the, the designs we have and the features that we have are tailored toward ministries and, and churches, schools, Christian schools, and those sorts of things. But we do have several, um, uh, several clients that have used the same system for their uh, regular business. So yeah, that's, that's, that's very available. It's just that sometimes those tools aren't the best tools to do that task. Thank you all very much for coming.